Problem 9. A hydrogen atom in excited energy state E3 uh, equal to minus 2.4 times 10 to the negative 19 joules drops down to the ground state at energy level E1 equal to minus 21.76 10 to times 10 to the minus 19 joules giving off a photon. A. What is the energy of the emitted photon in joules? What is its wavelength in meters? And C. Based on the electromagnetic spectrum, what type of electromagnetic radiation is this? So let's begin with A. To find the energy emitted by this photon in joules, you simply have to uh, subtract the energy at uh, level 3 minus the energy at level 1. So you have minus 2.4 times 10 to the negative 19 joules minus minus 21.76 times 10 to the negative 19 um, joules. And uh, the energy of the photon is equal to 19.36 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. That's the answer to part A. B, what is the wavelength of this photon? We know that uh, the energy of a photon is equal to H, which is Planck's constant, times nu, which is the frequency. So here we're asking to find the wavelength, so we have to um, somehow involve the wavelength in this formula, and the way to do that is to replace the frequency nu with c over lambda. So now, in this equation, we have the energies known, this is the Planck's constant. This is the uh, speed of light in vacuum. The only unknown is lambda. Therefore, we solve for lambda, which will give us h times c over e of photon. And then we plug everything into this equation. So we have Planck's constant, 6.625 times 10 to the negative 34 joules seconds times c, speed of light, which is 3, times 10 to the 8th, that's meters per second, and then the energy we have already found from part A, 19.36 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And uh, lambda is equal to 1.0266 times 10 to the negative 7. And now let's be careful with the units. We have joules seconds times meters per second over joules in the denominator and that's joules over 1. So here, joule seconds with seconds cancel. Okay, We have joules in the uh, numerator of the top fraction, joules in the denominator of the bottom fraction, so this one with that one cancel, so the answer is 1.0266 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Or, if I write it in nanometers, this will give me 102.66 times 10 to the negative 9 meters, or nanometers, and uh, a wavelength of 102.6 nanometers, it's in the UV range. So C, we can answer that this is UV because it is it is 
a wavelength uh, less than 400 nanometers and anything smaller than 400 nanometers is in the UV range.